All right, good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good start. But yes, we are in an early warning weather alert on this Sunday. Lauren Richardson here. And yes, we are expecting some freezing rain through portions of our state, some frozen precipitation this morning. So that could make the roads icy. So I just want to let you know about that, give you a heads up if you're planning to head out to take it nice and slow. We're not seeing too much of that yet, though. Here's a live look in stores this morning, and it's quiet over the city, starting to see maybe a little bit of light glimmer of light. But for the most part, we're still pretty dark out there. This winter weather, it advisory is in place for today. Uh, once again, because of some of those icy untreated surfaces for northern counties, also all of Fairfield County and northern areas of New Haven County. So we do think the shoreline is going to be spared as well as the southeastern portion of our state. But you might still see a little bit of freezing drizzle and freezing rain. Early warning pinpoint Doppler right now is picking up some of that frozen precipitation, just a little bit of light frozen drizzle in some areas of Putnam and Foster and Wyndham. So not a lot going on out there just yet. But yes, you see on the satellite radar to the west of us that mix that that pink actually that's what's going to be pushing towards our state today and we're looking for icy spots out there for today but once again once we do transition over to warmer temperatures it's definitely below freezing across all of our state right now that's when we're going to be seeing some rain and uh, some actually even more moderate rain as possible through this afternoon and then after we get through that we've got some brutally cold conditions for next week I know I, I wish I had better news for you but it's going to get to the coldest air of the season. We're going to be having Arctic air move into our area. That's definitely going to make it feel very, very frigid. Uh, so we'll be keeping you updated. I'm going to show you some of those windchill values, but windchill right now, we're feeling like we're in the teens. We're feeling like we're in the 20s along the shoreline where it's actually uh, in the 20s and in the teens. Actually, it's already above freezing in New Haven, 37 degrees and 35 in Groton. But most of the state is still below freezing at the moment. Wind speeds are coming in from the southwest. You can see anywhere from calm to 16 to 17 miles per hour. So once again today, we've got that potential for freezing rain. Not everybody's going to see it, but rainy conditions as well this afternoon and breezy conditions uh, too. So as we head through this afternoon, you see that western portion of the state. That's really where we're going to see the most of that freezing rain or that mix. And you can see that continues as we head towards 1 o'clock p.m. Still seeing uh, that break. You could see that rain uh, for the western half or actually the eastern half of our state. And then 4 o'clock p.m. It's possible to still see a little bit of it, but for the most part, we transition over to rain towards the afternoon. And then by the evening, you can see that storm system pushes out to the east. So we're looking on Monday at a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures that are going to feel a little bit more frigid on Monday. But then Tuesday, that's when the really, really cold air sets in. So I'm going to show you those wind chill values in just a second for Tuesday. But yes, Tuesday, at least we're looking at a good amount of sunshine, but it's not going to feel so great out there. Future cast is showing us that potential for ice accumulations as we head towards this afternoon. And yes, uh, definitely seeing once again the western portion of our state. That's where we expect the most. Future cast is showing us to tomorrow. This is what it's going to feel like out there. So we're feeling like we're in the teens and the single digits, but it gets really, really cold once again on Tuesday. Tuesday's wind chill values. Look at that at 7 a.m. That's actually brutal to look at. Negative 20 in Torrington, negative 10 in Norwich. You need to bundle up. I mean, no exposed skin. That's almost a dangerous. Uh, that is a dangerous wind chill. So breezy conditions on Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures in the 20s. And then you can see on Thursday and Friday, we're looking at temperatures back in the 30s, which will actually feel pretty nice.